The area in Naperville where Julie Hansen's body was found looks quite different today from nearly 50 years ago. But this is where police discovered the 15 year old's body. She'd been sexually assaulted and stabbed multiple times. Naperville police say they've been working diligently to find her killer since that day. Chief Bob Marshall joined the department six years after the killing. Every one of us in investigations throughout these 49 years looked at the Julie Hansen case and looked at the evidence and make sure that was there anything out there that we could use uh, to f identify the killer of Julie. Police say DNA was the key to identifying now 76 year old Barry Welpley as the suspect. He now lives in Minnesota where he was arrested earlier this week, charged with three counts of first degree murder. As a 27 year old, he lived about a mile from Hansen. One of his relatives apparently used a commercial DNA service to explore family history, which helped Dr. Colleen Fitzpatrick link him to the small sample of DNA from the crime scene. Naperville police took it from there. Wow, it brings release to this family that's been waiting for an answer for 50 years. It doesn't get any better than that. Police say despite the five decades that have passed since Hansen's death, this never became a cold case for them and the investigation remains open. They're still looking at other unsolved homicide cases in the area. Hansen's parents are no longer alive, but her brother and sister were at the news conference this morning and expressed their gratitude through a written statement. These officers have stayed in touch with the families and, uh, and finally have been able to give them what they've been hoping for all these years. Authorities say Welpley has no serious criminal background. He waived extradition in Minnesota early this morning and is expected to be brought back to Illinois sometime next week. He's being held on $10 million bond.